Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally. And you know this video course is 30 phrasal verbs. You need to know, really, just imagine it, 30 phrasal verbs, yeah. Yeah, good. And the first one is go on, okay? Do you know this phrasal verb? Yeah, and you know, I have a question for you. Would you like to know phrasal verbs and use them in your speech? I hope so. This video is for you, okay? So, speak English fluently using phrasal verbs, okay? If you want to sound natural in English, you really need phrasal verbs. Also, have a look at our great video 250 phrasal verbs, okay? So, you know, you can put a like and share it with your friends, yeah? You can share this video with your friends. And, you know, I hope you'll enjoy this video. I really hope so. I really hope so. Okay? Are you ready to start? Okay? So, the first phrase word is go on. It means continue doing something. Okay? Look, I want to continue learning English on this channel. You know, we say continue doing something, yeah, please, remember it. So, continue learning, okay? I want to continue learning English on this channel. This channel is amazing, okay? It really helps. I study phrasal verbs, okay? I study phrasal verbs, yeah, on the channel, yeah, you can say on the channel, yeah? On, you, I study phrasal verbs on the channel English professionally. Uh, teaching English in English. So, really, it's a great idea and I really hope you understand it, okay? So, you can smile. Yeah, you can smile if you understand me. And so, the question remains the same, yeah? Or the question is the same. Why do we need phrasal verbs? Why do we need them, really? Why do we need phrasal verbs, okay? So, yeah. Can we do without them? So, you know, native speakers often use phrasal verbs. So, if you want to understand native speakers, you need to know them. Okay? So, I want to go on. It means I want to continue. And you can see different examples. Okay? I want to go on learning English here, okay? So, we say go on, we say go on doing something, okay? Uh, students often forget about ing, please, don't forget about it, okay? So, I want to go on doing something, uh, for example, I want to go on learning English here, or I want to continue learning English here. It's a great idea. Brilliant idea, okay? I want to go on making money. I want to go on living in this country, okay? Or let me give you one more example. I'd like to go on making a career. Why not? Why not? So I think it's a good idea. Or I'd like to continue making a career, okay? Well, so do you have uh, do you have a job? So do you work or study? What's a job? Would you like to make a career, or would you like to go on making a career? So these questions are very good for English speaking practice. Okay, good. More examples. I continued talking to her. Yeah, continue doing something, or I went on talking to her. So. It's past simple. It's past simple. Okay. It's uh, past simple. It's past simple. You see. You see. All right. So I went on, or I continue talking to her. Next, I think I'll continue playing tennis. Okay. Continue playing tennis, or I think I'll go on playing tennis. Okay. So, how are you going to learn English? How are you going to learn English, really? <laughs> so, I suppose, or I think, I'll go on learning English grammar and vocabulary on the channel English professionally. Okay? 
So we say go on doing, okay? Go on learning. I suppose I'll continue learning grammar and vocabulary on the channel English professionally. Does it really help you? Sure. Sure means, yeah, really, really, it helps. It helps a lot, of course. Suddenly, okay? You can go on learning English here too. Yeah, good. Okay? So, and uh, I think that you need uh, some homework. Okay? So, homework, make up some sentences, make up some sentences, okay? So, you can continue, yeah, you can continue it, you can develop, you can develop this idea, okay? You can develop this idea. You know, it's very good. So, this task is very good uh, for your fluency and for English speaking practice, okay? So, this task uh, is very good, very good for fluency in English, for fluency in English. It's a very good, okay? Uh, it's a very good English speaking practice, okay? So, it's a very good English speaking practice, okay? Wait a, wait a bit for English speaking practice, okay? So, please, develop this idea, continue it, okay? So, I want to go on and then you add something, okay? So, I'd like to go on and then you add something. Or, do you want to go on? So, you can write these sentences in the comments, okay? So, you can make up the sentences and write them in the comments below. Okay, or would you like to go on okay, and more exercises? I went on and I think I'll go on. Okay, very good, really very good. Okay, so the next phrasal verb is get up. Okay, okay so I usually get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so you go to bed, you go to bed, uh, then you, then you open your eyes, then you open your eyes, okay, so you wake up, okay, you wake up, and then, and then you get up, and then you get up, okay, so you get out of bed, you get out, oh, terrible, okay, you get out, you get out of get out of bed okay really look you go to bed so you sleep yeah uh, then you, you open your eyes uh, you wake up and then you get up you get out of bed okay good so I usually get up for example at 8 o'clock in the morning I usually get up after midday okay I usually get up at 1 o'clock in the afternoon it's so late it's so late so you know Okay, and really, what time do you usually get up? What time do you usually get up? At 8 o'clock in the morning, okay? I like getting up early. I like getting up late, okay? We often say, or we mostly say, like doing something, okay? Like getting, okay? Please remember it, like getting up early, like getting up late. Or I don't like getting up early, or... Yeah, you see, like doing, don't like getting up early, or I hate, I hate getting up early, you know, it's stronger, it sounds stronger than I don't like, so it means that I really, I really don't like it, so, yeah, so that's not for me, I hate, and we often, and we also say hate doing, I hate getting up early, <laughs> I hate doing, that's not for me, okay, and really, do you like getting up early. So, this question is for you. You can write your answer. Actually not. Actually not. It means that no. I have to do it. I have to do it. So, it means that I don't like it, but I do it. Yeah, so I think it's okay. Yeah, if we explain, if we also explain grammar and English grammar and vocabulary in context. Okay, so I have no choice. I'd like to get up at about 
10 o'clock in the morning okay so have to is a modal verb yeah we use it uh, when we do something but we have no choice so we don't want we don't want to do it okay so in the morning not earlier and what time do you usually get up so you can give a short answer or a full answer a full answer okay so and um, I have this question for you so you know you need to have more practice you need to have more practice more speaking practice with phrasal verbs if you really want to remember them or if you really want to memorize them memorize it means to learn them by heart okay so do you like getting up early so it's some kind of homework it's homework for you exercises yeah so do you like getting up early why why not so you can write the answer uh, in the comments what time does your best friend usually get up so make up your own examples okay so it's homework 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 so i think that you like you like doing your homework oh no sorry um you really like doing your homework oh no you enjoy doing your homework yeah it's a joke but you know it's important it's important and i think it's important uh, to learn english with pleasure okay and uh, i suppose that uh, we are doing it right now okay so well done well done excellent my congratulations but we need to go ahead okay so you know the third one is give up give up okay okay give up so you know you do something regularly and then you stop doing it so in other words you give it up so stop doing or give up yeah we say give up something or give up doing something look i stopped smoking i stopped smoking yeah so i mean it means that uh, I smoked earlier and uh, you know I don't smoke yeah it was earlier I stopped smoking or I give up I give up smoking I give up smoking okay so we say give up doing okay and stop doing I stop smoking and I give up smoking okay so or I gave it up I gave it up you know that uh, it's it is a pronoun it is a pronoun it is a pronoun and we put it in the middle and we put it in the middle it's a row please remember it and we put it and we put it only and we put it only in the middle and we put it only in the middle okay so it's a row it's a row so I gave it up only this way, okay? So you can say I stopped to smoke, but it's about a moment. So so you were walking, 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 you wanted to smoke, and then you stopped, yeah? And so you started smoking, yeah? Uh, but if you stop doing it, if you stop doing it completely, so you say or uh, really stop doing or no, give up doing well so yeah it's about moments so you were walking for example and then you decided to stop you wanted to smoke okay other examples I give up smoking I give up smoking I give up drinking beer I give up drinking beer okay or I stopped drinking beer I give up playing football at the end of the season so stop or give up i give up tennis which means i stopped playing tennis okay so exercises okay so what did you give up doing and why so these exercises are very important for speaking what did you give up doing and why okay uh, for example i gave up learning Chinese yeah so I stopped learning Chinese it means I started learning but then you know I stopped doing it for some reason okay 
So, for example, I gave up learning Chinese. My level got a bit higher than elementary. It was about pre-intermediate, okay? And uh, I came to the conclusion, so, so I had this idea in my mind, that I needed plenty of time, so plenty of time means lots of time, to improve my Chinese greatly, or to make it better, to make it better, to make it much better. I need lots of time. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, so, or yet fortunately, I had no spare time or I had no free time and I had to give it up. Yeah, we put it in the middle. We put it in the middle. So, it's English grammar. So, this video is also for English grammar, not also, not only for English vocabulary. So, this is my story and you can write uh, something, yeah, about your experience. You can write your story. Yeah, it would be great, okay? So, well, you know that uh, this phrasal verb, give up, has the second meaning, okay? So, I won't give up. I won't give up, yeah? It means that uh, I won't get depressed. I won't um, get uh, depressed. I won't get uh, depressed. I won't stop. I won't uh, stop, yeah? Look, I won't give up. I'll continue, I'll continue preparing for this exam, no matter how difficult it might be. It means that it can be difficult, but I won't stop, I won't stop, I won't feel depressed, I'll do it, I'll be strong enough, I'll be strong enough to do it, okay? And uh, I hope I'll pass it, I hope I'll pass it, and never give up, never give up, so never get depressed, never get depressed. Believe in yourself, yeah? Uh, th think why it's important not to give up in life so you can uh, speak about it. Good. Okay? Good. So, next, break down. So, the next reservoir verb, break down. So, we often use it with cars, okay? His car broke down. Or, my car broke down. Or, to my surprise, for example, my car broke down. It means uh, stopped working. Okay, stopped. It means stopped working. It means stopped working. So my car broke down. My car broke down. To my surprise, yeah, my car broke down. Or my car broke down suddenly. Or we can also say all of a sudden. It means suddenly or unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Okay. So. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? I have some questions for you. Do you have a car? So, when did it break down last time? So, if you don't have a car, tell us when your parents' car broke down last time. Okay? Good. Yeah, and uh, compare uh, break and uh, break down. So, he broke the pen, so he uh, did it. So, a person did it, a person did it, and uh, the washing machine broke down, the washing machine broke down, so it means stopped working, okay, stopped working. Yeah, you know that this reservoir verb has the second meaning, so break down a barrier, for example, I want, yeah, to break down or overcome, overcome, overcome a barrier, look, I want to break down the language barrier, yeah? I want to overcome this barrier. So, I want to speak English fluently, okay? So, it's my aim. So, do you want to break down the language barrier? How are you going? How are you going to do it, yeah? So, and, um, yeah, there is one more meaning. So, she broke down and started crying, yeah? She was so upset. It was a real tragedy for her, it was a real tragedy for her, so break down, so sh she couldn't, yeah, she, it means, uh, began to cry, she began uh, to cry, uh, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't hide her feelings, okay, she couldn't, she couldn't hide her feelings, she couldn't uh, hide her feelings, yeah, and started crying, she was so upset, it was a real tragedy for her, Okay, have you ever broken down and started crying?
Tell us about that. Okay? Does your car often break down? Actually not. I have a reliable car. It means that uh, good car. I can rely on it. Good car. Yeah, and you know, I know it isn't so easy to break down the language barrier, but it's possible to do it. Right? Absolutely, yeah. It means of course. Okay, I broke down and started crying. So I need your support. No problem. You can count me. So very good examples. And I hope that I can count, uh, you know, on your support and you can also count on my help. Good. Okay. Next. Write down. So do you write English words correctly? I try to do it. Let me give you an example. This word is new for me. I'd like to write it down. Yeah, I'd like to write it down. Okay? So we often use it in this context. Okay? So I'd like to write it down. So I'd like to have it to have it on paper. I'd like to have it on paper. I'd like to write it down or to memorize it better. Memorize means to remember it better. Okay? And uh, I have a speaking task for you. Do you think it's important to write down all the new English words? All the new English words you meet. Okay? Is it important or not? Okay? So, for example, memorize. Yeah? It's maybe so a new word for you. So, you can take a pen. So, where is my pen? Or oh, I don't see it. I see only, I see only uh, my keyboard so only my keyboard so I don't see uh, a pen so yeah I only type okay so I think that uh, I won't write it down but maybe you have uh, a different idea so do you think it's important to write down all the new English words you made okay so um, can I go on have you uh, written down this new word yeah I have Yes, I have, yeah, but I feel I need to make up my own examples to know it better. Sure, let's do it. You can make up your own examples and it's a good idea. Okay, so next. So, wake up, wake up. So, I'm sure you need to know these two phrasal verbs, yeah. Get up and wake up. So, we talked about it. And uh, I have a question. What do we do first? Okay, get up or wake up. Get up or wake up. Certainly, first we wake up. Yeah, when we open our when we open our eyes, and then we get up, and then we get up. Okay, so you can say, for example, I usually wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, or I usually wake up very early. Uh, then I lie in bed for about an hour. After that, I get up. Okay, exercises. I think that you really like them. So, what time do you usually wake up? Okay, what do you do after that? Do you get up immediately? Or maybe you lie in bed? Okay, so do you think it's important to wake up and get up earlier? In order to do more things during the day so in order to means uh, to so if you want maybe to do more things during the day uh, maybe you want to wake up earlier so it means so maybe maybe yes yeah so please uh, tell us about that yeah so seven and eight stand up and sit down okay so two opposite two opposite two opposite phrasal verbs two opposite phrasal verbs okay so compare please compare stand up stand up okay so stand up okay okay and uh, uh, sit down okay sit down please and we say uh, sit down please okay and uh, look at this verbs yeah stand look he was standing near the shop he was standing and sit yeah I sat on a chair so we say sat on a chair but but what but sat in an armchair please remember it okay 
So stand up and uh, sit down. Well, there is one more meaning. Stand up for your rights or uh, stand up for yourself. It uh, has a meaning. It has a meaning of defend. It means defend your rights. Defend yourself. Okay. So you need to stand up for your rights or you need to defend your rights. Otherwise, so otherwise or or. Yeah, it means or, but otherwise, yeah, this word is a little formal. Otherwise, they can win the case. They can win the case. Okay, exercises. Do you think it's necessary to stand up for your rights sometimes? Okay, or do you think it's important to defend your rights sometimes? Okay, so maybe someone hit you, hit you, yes, very hard. I don't know. I don't know. And so will you stand up for your rights or not? Or maybe another situation, another uh, situation uh, can happen, okay? So when did, did you do it last time? So when did you stand up for your rights uh, last time? So describe the situation, describe the situation, okay? Good. Next, grow up. So we say grow something, for example, fruit or vegetables. I grow vegetables in my garden. And we say grow up talking about people. Talking about uh, people. So, so when they, you know, uh, for example, when they uh, become adults. When they become adults. When they become adults. So it's a process, yeah? So uh, first... So he or she is a child, yeah, and then he or she as a teenager and then an adult, okay? So child, so child, teenager, teenager, adult, yeah, or maybe baby, yeah, baby, child, teenager, and adult. So you grow up, yeah, or for example, I grew up in America, I grew up in Russia. Maybe in India, yeah, maybe in Vietnam, in Brazil, okay? So where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in a big city. So it means uh, I grew up in a big city. It means I spent my childhood there. I spent my childhood there, okay? I spent my childhood there or I grew up in a small town okay so exercises where did you grow up yeah so where did you grow up so in what country in what city in what yeah, place or would you like to live in another country do you wish you had grown up in another country or city and why so do you wish or not okay so you know it's about english grammar please have a look at our playlists on grammar so i think that you really it's very useful it's extremely useful and you also enjoy it good Okay, so what about these phrasal verbs? Be out, be away, go out and go away, okay? So be out and go out. Please look. Is he at home? No, he's out. He isn't at home. So be out means um, not uh, to be at home. So he's out, he isn't at home. Or you can say he went out, he went out. It means he left home, okay? He left home, he left home, he went out, he left home, okay? Look, he went out for a walk, more examples. He went out for a walk, he went out for a meal, yeah? And we also meet be away and go away. Look, so it's usually it's usually for a long time, for a long time, and um, uh, a distant place. A distant and uh, a distant uh, place, okay? For a long time and a distant place, so maybe another city, another country. Look, my parents are away. So, my parents went away to Italy or to another city, to another country. Okay, so good. Well, so exercises. Do you like it? 
When your parents go away to another country, what do you usually do? Do you have fun? Or maybe do you learn English all day? Okay. So are you a hard-working student? Are you a hard-working student? Okay. Uh, do you like staying at home alone? How often do you go out for a walk or for a meal with your friends? Do you think that socialization is very important? So what is socialization? Socialization is communicating, communicating, or communication with other people, talking. It's when you talk to other people or socializ socialization. So you need to socialize, yeah. So or maybe not. So do you think it's important or not? Good. So fourteen. Call back. Call back. Okay. So can you talk to me now? I am afraid not. I'm a little busy. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. Okay. So someone uh, calls you, and then uh, you can't uh, answer. You can't answer, and you say, "I'll call you back. I'll call you back, or I'll call you back later." Look, or I'll call you back later, or I'll call you back soon. I'll call you back in a minute, or in a second, in three minutes, in five minutes, or I'll call you back quite. So okay. So, can you talk to me now? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. I really love. I really love to talk to you, but I can't do it at the moment. Okay. Can you call me back later? Yeah. No problem. No problem. Okay. It means it's easy. I'll do it. No problem. Okay. So hurry up. Yeah. Fifteen. So who knows how to translate this verb? Hurry up. Hurry up, okay? Please look at these situations. Look at these situations. Hurry up, or you'll miss the bus. Hurry up, or you'll miss the bus, okay? Hurry up means uh, so do it quickly. Do it quickly, okay? Do it very quickly. So do everything very quickly. So do it very quickly, or do everything. Do everything uh, very quickly. So hurry up. Or you'll miss the bus. So if you don't hurry up, so you'll miss the bus. So uh, you won't uh, take it, yeah, or you won't catch it, and you'll be late. Yeah, hurry up, or you'll be late. Hurry up, or you'll be late. Okay, hurry up. We go. We have no time. So do everything quickly, please. Yeah, hurry up. We've run out of time. So run out of. Is also a phrasal verb. It means that uh, our time finished. We have no time, so we have no time. So we have run out of time. Hurry up! It's time we left home. Start. It's time we left home. Okay. And I don't like it when other people hurry me up. Yeah. When they tell me, please do it very quickly. Please, 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 please. And uh, you know, it's very annoying and. Uh, I hate it and I maybe lose concentration and I lose my patience. So I don't like it when other people hurry me up, okay? Good. So put on, put on. So she put on a very beautiful dress, okay? She put on a very beautiful dress. It means uh, she put it on her body. Put it, put it on her body. Put it on, on her body, okay? I'd like to put on this sweater. I'd like to put on this sweater. So the opposite phrasal verb is take off. Yeah, two opposite phrasal verbs, yeah? He took off his coat. So put on and take off, it has the opposite meaning, yeah, okay? So I took off that sweater. Yeah, you know, this phrasal verb has the second meaning. So she put on weight. She put on weight, so or she gained, she gained weight. So her weight is bigger now. So her weight uh, was, uh, you know, maybe sixty kilos, and then it became seventy. So it was sixty, and then became seventy. So she put on weight. She put on weight. Okay. Oh, she put on five kilos, for example. Yeah. So she was sixty. And then she became 65. She put on 5 kilos. I wouldn't like to put on weight or to gain weight. Okay. So exercises. Would you like? 
to put on weight or lose it. Huh. Why? Yeah. So would you like to have more weight or less weight? So do you remember the time when you put on weight suddenly? Why did it happen? So what advice can you give in order to keep fit? So in order to be healthy, do you think it's so good when people are always putting on weight and getting all weight? So maybe good, maybe maybe not, yeah? So please tell us about that. What should they do? What should they do? Okay, good. So and the next verse of verb is run out. Good. Okay, run out. So look. Let's remember present perfect. The formation of present perfect. How do we form it? So have has plus past participle or plus the third form. Plus the third form. Okay? Good. You know that we often use this phrasal verb with a present perfect. So we use present perfect. So if there is a connection with the present, if there is a connection, if there is a connection with the present. So yeah, it's about the past. It's about the past. It's about it's about the past. Okay, uh, but yeah, but there is a connection. Okay, uh, but uh, there is a connection with the present. Okay, so look, you have no time, so time finished, and you can say, we've run out of time. So run out of something means finish. Okay, it means uh, finish. Okay, good. Well, so, okay, run out of time means uh, finish. So, We've run out of time, or maybe we've run out of money, we've run out of food, okay? So I also think you prefer to sound more native, to sound more native, and you know that native speakers often use short forms, okay? So you know that present perfect it's have has plus past participle or plus the third form, but native speakers often say, I mean, not we have run out of time, but we've, okay? We've run out of time. Good. So, your money finished, and you can say, I've run out of money, yeah? I've run out of money. So, we often see it, yeah, in present perfect, I've run out of money. So, yeah, run out of time, run out of money. So, you know, these phrases are very common in English. So, and I have some exercises for you. So, really, I have several questions, especially for you. Do you often run out of money? When was it last time? Why did it happen? Do you think that your time management is perfect? Do you often run out of time when you don't expect it or you don't want it? So time management is how you manage your time. So do you often run out of time? And so uh, maybe uh, you plan some things, uh, but uh, you want maybe to do this thing, you want to do that thing, uh, but um, suddenly you understand or suddenly you realize that you don't have time for all these things, okay? So, yeah, so do you often run out of time when you don't expect it or you don't want it? Okay, be over, okay? So the lesson is over. It means the lesson finished, okay? It means the lesson finished. So the game is over or we often... Yeah, we often see game over, game over, it means so the game is over, the game is over, so yeah, be o to be over means finished, okay? So you may think that we mostly use this phrasal verb in present simple, but it isn't so, it isn't so, so or it isn't the case. We can use it talking about the past, or talking about the future. Look, the war was over at last. So it means the war finished at last. Okay, was over at last. The war finished at last. Or the lesson will be over. Okay, so the lesson will finish soon. Yeah, so a legendary phrase. 
uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it is here. So let's delete it. Okay. So the lesson will be over soon. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a legendary phrase. I mean, yeah. I mean, game over. So we often see it. Uh, yeah, at the end of uh, different games. So game over. Yeah. We've talked. We just talked about it. So the game is over. The game is over. Good. So exercises. So welcome. Welcome to exercises. Are you always happy when your English lessons are over? Why? Why not? So, do you remember this kind of situation when you were bitterly disappointed? It means that you were really disappointed, sad, upset or unhappy that the game was over. So, it can be a different game. Tell us more about this situation. Yeah? Look, how, how do we pronounce this word? Many students, I don't know why, but many students mispronounce this word, mispronounce, okay? So please, don't mispronounce this word, don't mispronounce it, don't mispronounce it, don't mispronounce this word. Many students say situation, but in fact it's situation, situation, situation. So tell us more about this situation, okay? So, well, three more phrasal verbs. Yeah, they are very similar. Come back, be back, and get back. Okay? Look. Very going. Very going. I'll be back soon. I'll be back. It means I'll return. I'll return soon. Okay? Or I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a second. Or you can also say come back. Yeah? Come back and stay with us. So return and stay with us. But you know, return sounds more formal. Yeah, it sounds more. It sounds more formal. Yeah. So come back and stay with us. I'll come back quite soon. Okay, good. And uh, get back. So it also means um, return. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's getting dark or it's becoming dark. You know that this verb uh, has. Um, many meanings and if you wanted we can make a long and useful video about the verb get yeah maybe it will can last for one hour for two hours but we'll you know study the most important information about this verb okay so we need to get back so it's getting dark we need to get back so we need to return and let's get back to our previous discussion so let's return yeah let's talk about it again so let's get back to the previous point to the previous idea to the previous point okay and exercises so make up your own dialects or make up your own conversations with these phrasal verbs okay good good idea yeah and next so you see turn on turn off switch on and switch off okay so turn on or switch on okay so they mean the same they mean uh, the same turn on and switch on so look i turned on the computer or i turned on the radio so it stopped working it stopped working it stopped working okay or i switched on uh, the computer i switched on the radio so what about turn off or switch off so they are opposite they are opposite phrasal verbs they're opposite phrasal verbs yeah so you can say oh sorry <laughs> I was thinking about um, yeah I'll turn off. it started working okay it started working okay it started working so I turned on so on means start I turned on yeah it started working because you know I was uh, Typing it, and I was uh, looking yet, uh, yeah, at uh, the next two ones phrasal verbs, yeah, and uh, you see that uh, that's why just uh, I wrote it this way. But you know that, of course, you know it's uh, start, yeah. I turned on the computer radio, so it's very important, yeah. So I just I checked your attention, yeah. It's very important to keep attention, okay. Uh, okay, so I turned on the computer. I turned on the radio. So it started working. I switched on the computer I switched on the radio. So it's the same turn on or switch on So I know that turn off and switch off are opposite phrasal verbs. Okay opposite 
So I turned off the computer, I turned off the radio, it stopped working, it stopped working. So maybe, look, um, you are listening uh, to the radio and it's very noisy, there is too much noise, I don't like it and I can tell you, okay, please turn off the radio or please switch off the radio or can you turn on the radio or I can be very polite and I can say, could you turn off the radio please? Please, yeah, to say please and smile and smile, okay? I switched off the computer, I switched off the radio, okay? Turn on the music, turn on the radio, turn on the computer, okay? Exercises, exercises, okay? So, what time do you usually turn on your computer? What time do you usually turn on your computer? So, what time does your computer start working? So, do you think you are addicted to the internet? So, it means that you spend a lot of time there, so you think about it uh, very often and you can't do without it. So, why? Why not? Okay? And what time do you usually turn off your computer? So, really, what time is it? So, what time is it? So, I can see it. So, it's uh, 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock at night. So, I think it's a very good time. Uh, for recording uh, this uh, very useful, uh, for this extremely useful video, okay? So, you know that uh, I can record it uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, and or in the evening, but uh, I don't know why, but uh, I prefer yeah, this time, so in the evening, in the afternoon, or maybe at night, but not in the morning, so I don't, I don't know, but really, I'm such a lazy person, so, and uh, I like to sleep. Okay, so try on. Try on. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, try on. So the next phrase of verb. The next phrase of verb. Okay. So I'd like to try on this dress. So I'd like to try on this sweater. I'd like to try on this coat. So you are so in a shop, yeah? And you'd like uh, to see so how this clothes, yeah, will look on your body. So, and you can say, yeah, can I try it on? Can I try it on? Okay? Can I try it on? So, you want to put it on, you want to put it on and see how it is on your body. So, what a beautiful dress. Why don't you, why don't you try it on? Why don't you try it on? So, or you can, what a beautiful dress. Try it on. Try it on. Yeah, you remember that. Yeah, we talked about it. If it's a pronoun, we put it in the middle. Try it eat on. Okay, exercises. Do you think it's necessary to try on clothes before buying them? Why, why not? How often do you go shopping or do the shopping? Okay, please remember these phrases. Go shopping and do the shopping. How often do you go shopping? How often do you do the shopping? Okay, wash up. Wash up. Yeah. So, we know, you know that uh, we often use this verb wash, yeah? I washed my hair, yeah, really, I washed my hair. I washed my face, I washed myself, yeah? Or we say wash up the dishes, just remember this phrase, yeah? Wash up the dishes or uh, wash up the plates, okay? Just remember it. I don't like washing up the dishes, so, yeah, and you. so. It means that so you eat, you drink, yeah, and uh, there are dirty plates, there are dirty plates uh, after this meal, after this or that meal, and you need to wash it up. You need to wash it up, yeah, yeah. So you have maybe lots of cups, uh, cups, spoons, forks, knives. So you need to wash it up, okay? So we say wash up the dishes, wash up uh, the plates, yeah. And uh, so you do it in the you, you do it in the kitchen, okay? And uh, I think it's your turn to wash out the plates, or it's your time, it's your turn to wash out the plates, or it's time you washed out the dishes. So you know that if we look at the structure, uh, we use it's time, and then a subject and past simple. It's time you washed out the dishes, okay? Good. Well, the next two phrasal verbs are fill in and fill out, actually. Uh, they are the same, they are the same, uh, they have the same meaning, but we mostly use fill in, okay? So, fill in the form, please, or you can also say fill out the form, please, but we mostly meet fill in, okay? Uh, fill in the form, please, or fill in the gaps in these exercises, okay? Gaps. For example, uh, this, um, there is one exercise, yeah? So, 
yeah and uh, for example happy so you need to choose M is or R M is or R so what are you choosing what are you choosing okay so really what are you choosing and uh, you uh, need to fill in the gap so I am happy okay or fill in the missing words fill in the missing words okay she's afraid of nothing she is afraid of nothing or she yeah she, or she isn't afraid or she isn't afraid of it she isn't maybe afraid of them she is afraid she isn't afraid of them she is keen on Judah she is keen on Judah okay yeah she isn't afraid yeah so you need to fill in the missing words you need to fill in the correct preposition okay we say afraid of yeah afraid of scared of frightened of so they have a similar meaning afraid of she's keen on Judah and uh, we say keen on yeah keen on and afraid of I feel in the missing words exercises okay so you often uh, feel you know you often fill in the gaps in different exercises Ah, okay so it's about the yeah it's a question right so it's for English speaking practice so did you often fill the gaps in different exercises while learning English okay what exercises on learning English are very effective what exercises on you know or for example what exercises on English grammar what exercises on English grammar are very effective here yeah? and the last one count on count on so it means rely on it means rely on it means trust trust look you can count uh, yeah you can count on my help so it means so you can be sure that I'll help you or you can be sure or you can be certain you can be sure or you can be certain uh, that I'll help you you can be sure or you can be certain that I'll help you so really I'll try to produce good videos I try to make good videos if you support me and I hope that I can count on your support I can count on your support I expect it from you really okay really thanks a lot yeah uh, for watching I uh, see you bye